she on a little date right now. With the That's, a That's her ex. I was about to roast these niggas, but I ain't about to. But these other weirdos, who are they? You know the vibes. It's Jay. Hand me the lighter, I'm about to get litter than a bitch. Big, big period. Are you serious? These hoes are acting all delirious, and I ain't. You know the vibes. It's Jay. What's going on, Jay Squad? Plum Squad is your girl Jay. You already know. Welcome back. To J Vibes, where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on, big period. Today's video, you guys, I will be reacting to the Ray Soul Wavy two hour long video. Shit. Fuck. This video is called Dear Kiana, You Tried It, It's Done. And you know what's crazy? When this video popped up, another video underneath it popped up on the side because I was looking at it on my phone, whatever. And it's when she was talking to somebody else, and the title kind of matched, but it was somebody else's name. When Ray say it's done, when Ray say it's over, she mean it. Now, if you don't know, you guys, I definitely did react to Ray So Wavy's 10-minute video on my reaction channel. So, please make sure you click the links down below and go watch that. Give me some comments down below in the comment section on that video. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel, my reaction channel, and my fitness channel, you guys. Give this video a thumbs up, a like. Comment down below on this video. Make sure you share my content. So, this will be part one. Part two is going to be on my reaction channel. So, make sure your bell is turned on for all post notifications and let's get into this video but before i do i'm about to give you the latest video and even if this ain't the latest video you guys it's definitely about to be the realest video you already know what's going on big period okay let's get into it um i'm not gonna really go into detail on what happened ray is a very good person but we're not on the best terms right now i have spoke to her in almost Two weeks a week. I'm not gonna bash her. She's not a bad person. She's extremely loving. She did nothing but good to me. I'm like, there's been some times she had me messed up. But other than that, her as a person, she's dope. Ray is super dope. She's like extremely loving and stuff. She's fine as fuck. Yeah, we're just. I feel like these are the words of someone, as she said, when you haven't spoken to them in only just a week and two weeks. How about you try six months, a year, two years? And not only that, you know, she's trying to keep it cute. She's trying to keep it cute. She's trying to keep it cordial. She obviously still has feelings for her because what does... Anybody can be fine, okay? That don't got shit to do with shit. But uh, people true colors come out or when they get triggered by something, you know, then that's when this comes along. So, yeah. That's all I'm going to say with that. I like this song. <laughs> or her intro. I love her intro. Way the game. Remember one and done. I love ya. What's good, Wavy Gang? It's your girl, Ray. And we back with another banger on the channel. Gang. So listen, y'all. Today we coming with the heat. We coming with the receipts. We coming with the I love song. receipts. Hey, y'all, look. This is a video I didn't want to do because I knew if I did this video, it was going to put me and Kiana business out there. And you feel me? I really didn't want to disclose, like, personal shit that happened between me and Kiana, but... I didn't even watch her video. I did have to watch it because it's like... And I ain't watching her video neither. And some of y'all like Jay go watch her video. And I'm telling you now, I'm not watching her video. Call me what you want to call me. One-sided. But yeah, I'm not doing it. I cannot sit there and listen to that girl lie and flex in front and just... I can't do it. Like, you got me fucked up. Because the way you manipulate situations and shit, now, at this point, you got me mad. Round of applause. You made me mad, Kiana, because I'm not mad at you. That for probably was a go. What I'm mad at is the way you told your side. You tried to and that make matters. yourself seem so right. But this that video, matters. we're starting back from day one, baby. And I'm coming with receipts. Because the way you made your video seem, Kiana, you tried to make it seem like I'm obsessed with you or I was trying to fuck with you and you was just on some business shit. But now we finna lay down every... But wait a minute, because I think she was on some business stuff okay i felt like her whole motive 
of collabing with Ray and the whole, you know, I like you, the girlfriend videos, like the girlfriend for 24 hours. Like, I just felt like all of that stuff was business related. You know what I'm saying? And it sucks because Ray felt some way about her and Kiana portrayed as if she felt some way as well about Ray, but... Baby girl, you know, she said she used to scam in her life, and I just don't know. Like, for me to mess with a scammer, you would have to go get baptized in front of Jesus. Because you have scamming tendencies and scamming ways. And that just never leaves the bloodline in your soul. You have to get that out of there with the Holy Water and the Holy Ghost. Screenshot every mess because now everybody can know the real truth. This ain't finna be no fake shit. So we finna get down to it right now, y'all. So if y'all ready for this video, give this video a thumbs up right now. If you new to this channel, welcome to the Wavy Gang, the latest gang on YouTube right now. And let's get into the video, man. I am. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna take this video by a timeline. I feel like if I take this video by a timeline, it's gonna make sense. better understand of every situation that ever happened between me and Kia. The gaps I mean, of what they didn't want to talk about. On down to now this Instagram situation is YouTube shit. We finna take this by a timeline. If y'all really want to know what happened between me and Kiana, I want y'all to sit down and listen to the details. I want y'all to sit down and listen to everything Get I'm gonna hooker, say. Girl, and because your this water. is gonna be a lengthy video, but I promise y'all it's going to have everything that y'all seen, everything that y'all missed, shit that y'all didn't even know. Like I said, y'all, let's start with this timeline. Me and Kiana got into three major arguments on Twitter. I don't know if y'all know about these three major arguments we didn't got into, but I'm gonna tell y'all each one and I'm gonna break down everything. I'm gonna tell y'all the three arguments we got into and then I'm gonna break down each argument. Before she goes into the arguments, because we all know like, they had uh, however many real arguments they had. Some were in between those arguments. They had reconnected, right? And they were making content again. And I never went back and reacted to any of the content of them coming back together. I never did it because I just could not get with Kiana J. Vibes. I'm sorry. Kiana Johnson. I couldn't get with her vibes. I couldn't get with it. I just... Y'all know. I had been called this shit out. Been as I go on with this story so y'all can see everything. The first argument me and Kiana ever got into on Twitter, I don't know if y'all knew about this, but Kiana called me out of town with a girl that I said that I wasn't going out of town with. That's the first argument we ever got into. And why would you do okay, that? Okay, cool. The second argument we got into is when I went to Twitter and I called Kiana a hoe. And that's when y'all, everybody was seeing them drama pages, all that shit. Everybody was posting us going back and forth. And the third argument we had, y'all, that was the one that just recently happened on Twitter that y'all saw. And I'm only doing it like this, y'all, because I really want y'all to understand everything that ever went on. And y'all know I love receipts, baby. You tried to give half-ass receipts, Kiana, but let's really get it for real. All right, y'all, so like I said, we're going to go by timeline. So let's get into the first argument me and Kiana ever had. And I have to tell y'all this because y'all got to know everything that ever fucking happened. Because now I just want y'all to understand, bro. Around this time, this was like October the 20th, October the 21st. Um, Around this time, y'all, me and Kiana was fucking around heavy, calling each other baby, flirting. We was going on dates. And in this next video, y'all going to see me and Kiana relationship dynamic was like. And I'm going to put it in this next clip. <laughs> Cool, keep it fresh, baby. Yeah, baby. This drink right here is so good. If you ever come to Papa Do's, order the swamp thing. Cause it tastes so good. It tastes like you. It tastes like you. How you know what I taste like? Good water. How you know? How you know what I taste like? Girl. <laughs> <laughs> My head was itching. I'm not gonna play with you. I wanna make a boomerang. Oh, where'd it go? So as y'all can see in this clip, we're definitely messing around. We're definitely fucking around. We're definitely, um, you feel me, talking terms, basically. Initially, y'all, how this argument got started, Kiana ran to Twitter. This was our first ever Twitter argument. I don't know if y'all, any of, I don't even know if some of y'all know about this, but this is everything. Kiana ran to Twitter and got to call me a liar, a manipulator. You feel me? Just going off. Everything going off. that she is. I understand shorty frustration. I understand why she was mad. You feel me? You called me with a girl I said that I wasn't going to be with, but I didn't think Kiana was going to run uh -huh. into the Oh, I thought she meant that Kiana's with a girl that Kiana said, okay, I was confused, but now I get it. Okay. Well, yeah. 
when someone like you, they're going to get in their feelings about that because if you said you don't fuck with this person, then why are you with this person? But, you know, just, y'all, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, it's not your friend when it comes to venting. You got to keep it real subliminal, real short, simple, and cute if you are going to vent on social media, you know what I'm saying? And that's just that. <laughs> Because a lot of us just can't help but to vent on social media. Uh, and you feel me just air out our business or air out my business. And this is our first Twitter argument. So I'm going to stop right there. How people always say, Ray, you be running the Twitter first. Like you start these arguments. Me and Kiana first ever Twitter major argument on some serious level shit. She started. Like I said, when Kiana found out I was with the girl, she ran to Twitter. My thing is, Kiana, you knew how invested our supporters was and how much they loved our relationship you didn't have to tweet even my name for them to know you was talking about me because how we was presenting ourselves on camera mm -hmm. they knew we was messing around so when you got on there saying this girl is a liar this girl is a manipulator everybody already knew she was talking about me my thing is if you knew how invested our supporters was why even do that that created our first argument our first beat that we even had with each other so now and that's why I really like love Easy and Natalie because you know we're humans and we're females at that so we're gonna do that back and forth just like any couple I guess would we'll go you know do a back and forth but they keep their shit off of social media do they have disagreements I'm sure they do but they keep that shit off of social media they keep it very mature they don't do stuff like this and that's why I really love Easy and Natalie but back to Ray and back to Kiana Johnson <laughs> This gave everybody the right to invest themselves in our relationship. And this how it even started, how people felt the need to be invested in me and Kiana's relationship. It started from this first argument when she ran to Twitter. So at this point, y'all, she going off, my supporter going off. I'm not even nowhere to be found because I didn't even know she had ran to Twitter. Honestly, y'all, I can't even tell y'all how I even initially got on Twitter to see everything. But when I got on there, the first thing I saw was her calling me a liar and manipulator. So, you know, the first thing was... Okay, I'm gonna defend myself. So as y'all can see, this is the tweet from me and Kiana first argument. She stated, one thing I don't tolerate is a liar. She really puts up a good act for y'all and I'm mind blown like crazy. I thought my ex was bad. Woo child, please. And then I to compare. For how I acted. So mad. I'm just soft and low-key hurt because, wow, life goes on. So y'all, here are some of my previous tweets from this argument. So I tweeted, I don't give a fuck, honestly. I know okay. how this shit go. You lose them just how you get them. Okay. As y'all can see, this day is 10 21 20. So this is during the argument me and Kiana is having. I also tweeted, you was just on YouTube whipping over your ex. Stop capping. So at this point, y'all, we basically going back and forth, back and forth. So Kiana decides to post a screenshot of our messages. So during this argument, this is when my number got leaked. So when she posted the screenshot of our messages, y'all, this is what she said. She said, see, don't sit here and cap in my phone like this, then lie and say you're not fucking with a bitch. I asked about you just to turn around on Instagram with the hoe. Don't do that. Ain't no pressure. Keep it player. There's no need to lie to me because we single. Okay, I'm done. So boom. After she tweeted that, I said, drop my number. Yeah, okay, man, don't let me drop screenshots. So after my number got leaked, y'all, of course, we going back and forth. It's serious. We, we really beefing on Twitter. We're going back and forth. So at this point, I'm like, man, I don't even give a fuck. No. The girl that I was with, I end up posting a boomerang of us. Of course, I did that to make Kiana mad because at this point, I was mad that she brought our shit to Twitter. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you ain't really no respecting this shit no more. Like, you got on her calling me a manipulator and a liar, bro. All bets are off. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, now I'm mad. So now I'm doing little petty shit. And I honestly feel like if she say that she lost respect for her, then... You know, we, we really, really, for real, for real, got to stop giving second chances on the stuff that matters the most. When you lose respect for someone, when someone, you know, leaks personal information about you, whether it's your number, your address, whatever the case may be, your business, that's like signs and red flags and that stuff just ain't happening because it's happening because everything happens for a reason. That's why I got to tell it on me. <laughs> it's true. You really got to take in those small things because deep down inside they matter the most to you think about it somebody was to disrespect you disrespect you guys you got to think about it do you really want somebody to just go about their day or do you want your day to go about with people disrespecting you all day every day every day that you wake up your whole life do you really want to feel disrespected no respect is a big thing so we have to take things like that into consideration when someone disrespects us or when we don't feel respected by that person or when we lose respect in love and anything that means the most to you when you lose that in someone 
that's big and that's serious. And that should have just been strike one, two, three. R E S P E C T. Now I'm not gonna say I wasn't wrong for doing little petty shit, y'all, because at the end of the day, I was wrong for not telling Kiana the full truth as to why I even went with the girl. But I still believe that didn't give her the right to go on Twitter and get to calling me a liar and manipulator and starting a big ass argument and getting people involved in our business. During this time frame, y'all, when all of this shit started happening and me and Kiana, you feel me, we was going back and forth or whatever, I got on Twitter and I text her and this is what I said. I text her, I said, what's the issue, Kiana? You blocked me for what, G? That shit's so childish. I'm not finna blow up your phone for you to act childish. You 23, that shit's sad. She said you at the club with a whole ass bitch you said you didn't fuck with. Then you said you wasn't going to Orlando for her. You wasted my fucking time, you lying ass hoe. So at this point, I'm like, okay, you disrespecting me, so I'm finna get disrespectful back. I said, okay, bitch, get off my phone. She said, I really can't believe you. I set up here and tell you why I'm afraid to take somebody serious, and then you turn around and do the same shit to me. People are so evil and fucked up in this world, that shit is fucking sad. She said, you set up there and lied in my fucking face, made it seem like it was okay to open up to you and tell you what I was afraid of to just up and do that shit. Then she said, one day I hope the world gets to see how fucked up and manipulated of a person you is. Okay, so boom, y'all, just to keep it a buck with y'all, I wasn't even mad that Kiana caught me with the girl because I knew the next day she was going out of town to do collabs with her ex. So in my head, y'all, at the time, I really didn't believe I was the only person Kiana was fucking with. I'm glad you, know you didn't, saying? girl. Going out of town to do collabs with your ex, I know how that shit go. Especially since we did have like a solid foundation or even boundary set. And I believe that's what really caused me and Kiana's relationship to keep going left. We never had any boundary set, not even in the beginning. So during this argument, y'all, I tweeted Kiana and I said, but you got bitches and niggas. I'm so confused. Fuck out of here. She responded and said, it's called a single bisexual female, dumbass little girl. Okay, cool. If you bisexual or whatever you doing and you say, I'm telling you, you got niggas and bitches and you agreeing, why are you on Twitter doing all of this? Because I lied. Because I told you I wasn't gonna be with the girl. But if you got niggas and bitches, why are you tripping like that? So as y'all can see from this tweet, Kiana responded to me three times in this one tweet. She said, that's why I can't fuck with bitches because I really beat a bitch face in on my dead granny. And y'all, she also stated that I was one of her hoes. But y'all, with all this being said, y'all can see this shit was one big ass mess. And even I'm admitting now, yeah, I was wrong for not telling Kiana, you feel me, that I was going down there to do whatever I was doing with the girl because I told her I wasn't going to be I love somebody her. that but has that ownership. But Kiana the right to run a Twitter and start calling me a lying manipulator and get people involved in our biz. And like I said, this is the first argument me and Kiana ever had that hit Twitter that some of y'all didn't even see. Yes, I got on bullshit with the girl to piss Kiana off. No, I'm not covering up for shit I did in this because I was wrong. But like I said, and I'm standing on it, she shouldn't have ran to Twitter about that situation. So now we at a point where the situation is dying down, y'all, and Kiana is still tweeting about the situation. So as y'all can see, this is on October the 21st at 5.47 a.m. Kiana tweeted, said, low-key hurt, but I dug it out. I don't have the tweet, y'all, but she also tweeted about, like, people being ingenuine and having the wrong intentions being around her. So when I woke up this morning and I seen Kiana was still bothered by this situation, you feel me? I texted her. Because at the end of the day, y'all, I didn't even want to lose the bond that me and the girl had. So y'all, when I texted Kiana, I said... My intentions was never not genuine, though, Kiana. What the fuck? I said, you went straight to social media and started capping, and I returned the energy. I wasn't even gonna say shit. You leaked my number accidentally doing this shit. I was never coming to Orlando just for her. What the fuck? You assume that. I said, I got whole ass plans while I'm down here, and they not with her. I didn't manipulate shit. I said, you don't think my feelings hurt? Come on, now. I ain't playing in your face at all. I said, you just took it there. I was chilling for real. But I said, if that's how you feel, say less. Because I know my intentions wasn't nothing other than to make you happy. I was already breaking bread on you. A nigga not finna do that to no bitch they trying to play our finesse. Okay. But it's good for real. I hear you. Okay. I said, I just feel like if you can give up this easy, you was gonna do that shit from jump. I was fucking with you. I don't give a fuck what you say or who's saying what to you. You started this shit. Going to social media trying to play me out. I never 
fucking lie to you. But the way you acting hella whack and it's boosty as fuck. I said, you wouldn't have last with me, G. That's all I can say. You got in your feelings and made it seem like I did something wrong. Whole time, I'm not hurt for her. I said, I told you what I do, what was good with me. I be having shit to do plus money to make. These bitches be a plus. But like I said, I can't make you fuck with me. If you think I'm not genuine and I'm this terrible person, it's good. But you know as well as I know I got a good ass heart and I'm one of the sweetest motherfuckers you will ever meet. Real shit. Kiana didn't text me back, y'all. So later that day, I end up calling her. So she said she was in a meeting and did I want her to call me back when she was done. I told her I was gonna make this move and get some money and I was gonna call her back. She said, you can just call me then and I told her I will. Fast forward with y'all, we had a conversation and we got back on good terms. After all of that shit that happened on Twitter, our first argument, we got back in good grace with each other and we was cool. So at this point y'all, I'm thinking everything good, everything back to normal. So like I said, this was October the 20th through the 21st. She was going out of town with her ex the next day, which was October the 22nd. And this is what I find so crazy. First off, y'all know I'm a cool, chill ass person. When it comes down to some Somebody making their money and their business shit, I will never intervene with your bag, bro. I will okay. let you do what you do. I knew Kiana was going As to go collect her ex, but I wasn't tripping, you feel me, because I trust her. And regardless, if I trust her, though, back of my mind from my previous relationships, you feel me, and we don't have no boundaries set, that I'm not the only one you fucking with. I did have trust that she wouldn't go down there and do no fool shit with her ex. So I'm going to read y'all off the first screenshot of me and Kiana messages when she first got to Miami. And in all honesty, y'all, this is when I knew something was off. I said, yeah, baby, I'm up. I'm still tired, though. I down there fell back asleep. You landed, though? She said, yeah, I landed. Why are you so tired? I said, because I was high as fuck earlier. What you finna do? She said, nothing. Finna take these nails off. I said, you just got them done. How you finna get them now? She said, I did, and they already breaking. That's why I never get my nails done in a salon. She said, I go to a black nail tech. Fuck that nail salon shit, cheap ass shit. That's why I haven't been in two years. I said, my bad, baby. I was switching hotels, but you only went for your friends. At least you spent time with them. That's solid. And so, about this ex you finna be out there with. What's good? That's what you want? Need I remind y'all, I only asked Kiana this because I didn't want to be left in a blind about nothing just in case anything came up, you feel me? I know you're going to with your ex. I know some funny shit could happen. So you feel me? I'm going to want to know what's going on. you know how baby girl is. Said, right about that. And yeah, he out here too. We finna do videos and shit. She said, but he got his friends and I'm with mine, so it's not like that. I said, mm, okay. She said, okay. I said, so what you about to do tonight? And I really need y'all to pay attention to these details because I'm telling y'all small details because all of this shit adds up in the end. I said, actually, never mind. I'm peeping so much shit right now. Do what you do. All good. Good night. She said, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm not doing shit tonight. I just put my nails off now. I'm finna edit. Then she said, the fuck? If it's not one thing, it's another with you. Then she Why said, she the you leave me on red for what? I didn't do anything talking about you peeping too much shit. Ain't shit to peep. But it's good, though. If you're not gonna text me back, don't text me at all. I end up not texting Kiana back still, y'all. So she end up texting me and saying, wow, really? Like, what the fuck? You can't communicate? Need I remind y'all, this is on October the 22nd. So I said, it's not even like that. I just don't want to argue argue no more it's good she said then what is it she said you causing an argument for nothing talking about you peeping shit ain't nothing to peep i said you right Kyle. i'm not causing nothing i said it's good she said can you talk to me what the fuck i said what you doing she said finna go get food what about you i said laying down watching tv down there need to pack my stuff because i leave from out here early a.m and i don't want to miss my flight because i definitely will and you really put that clip in your video i was drunk as hell but i was being honest the clip i'm about to show y'all next is the clip that came from the vlog me and Kiana had when we went on that date that y'all seen that was published October the 22nd. This clip I'm finna show y'all is me venting at the end of this clip basically saying like how Kiana ex niggas did her and I'm just like that shit was whack or whatever. Why would you whatever. put that in the y'all video? Y'all wanna see this in the next clip. Well y'all like I like that we can spend time together you feel me and chill cause like y'all be on social media all like Ray be with Kiana Ray do this do that and like it's just like bro I don't ever get the chance to really spend time with a female and the fact that she's like spending time with me just even going out to eat like it could be little things you feel me I take that shit to heart cause it's like I get with females and they just be on some like let me spin right bread let me just you feel me let me just kick it with her she's cute like but she really be spending time with me and I fuck with that shit hella tough so it's just like all of her exes I mean Shit from the bottom of my heart. Niggas are lame as fuck for breaking this girl heart. I don't know, you feel me? I don't know why Kiana is in a relationship because I never had the experience her in a relationship. But what I have seen is just like she genuine as fuck. So it's like you whack ass niggas, you light skin, 
motherfucking yes, I'm throwing shade. You feel me? I don't give a fuck. I ain't <laughs> no nigga. Light skin, dark skin, yellow skin. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, you niggas hella land because this girl is hella rock. What you drinking, girl? Hella rock, hella rock, Henny. So, I mean, I don't know how relationships is. I don't know how people is in relationships, but I ain't worried about it. <laughs> you feel me? I ain't worried about no nigga. I ain't worried about no bitch. No stud, no dyke, no nothing. I ain't worried about shit. I don't want y'all to know that shit, but I feel like I have to, no cap. And we finna have a good time tonight. I ain't tripping. I'm lit. I knew something was off about all of this little story about her being with her ex because he told me that she was going out there with her friends and he was gonna be with his friends. This is what she said. One thing I know about Kiana for sure, every time she go anywhere, she posts where she's at. Now, I'm not, I don't mean by location. She either posts her hotel, she posts who she be with. Ki Y'all know Kiana literally posts everything. When she go out of town and go kick with her friends and shit, she posts everything. But that's how I knew something was off because she, she post never that. posted her friends. Nor did she even post being in a hotel. She didn't post anything. So, okay. I didn't even say shit. That's why I was just like, I was peeping shit. I was peeping shit. But I wasn't even saying shit at the time. I was just like, I'm gonna let it go, Ray. Maybe you tripping. Boom. The next morning. I sent Kiana y'all this long ass paragraph, basically like trying to tell her like, I'm fucking with you. You feel me? Like, you get what I'm saying? I don't want you to think. Literally trying to still make up from the shit that happened on Twitter. I didn't want Kiana to think that I was still trying to fuck with the girl, whatever, whatever. And then this happened. A DM was sent to me, y'all, of Kiana laying in the bed with her ex. And at first, I didn't even look at the pic. Like, when I look at the picture, I'm just like, why the fuck is they sending me her ex Instagram story? Like, you get what I'm saying? I was confused. So then they like, and under the picture, they was like, Kiana is with her ex. And I'm like, how the fuck do they know that you even with your ex and you haven't posted nothing? So I looked at the picture again, y'all. And I see her purse in the background and her purse is circled in this screenshot. So I'm like, hmm, this is interesting. You supposed to be with your friends. How did you end up in your ex bed? Okay. So at this point, y'all, I feel played because I'm like, damn, you you say you was, you feel me, you going down there to just do collabs and shit, but you're literally in the bed with your ex. And I see Kiana's body print laying in the bed with her ex. So I'm just like, oh, really? Like, this is what you want? Like, I'm She could have kept it 100. She could have, you know what I'm saying? She could have, <clears throat> she could have played it better. You know, she could have played like, you know, I don't know, Ray. I'm still kind of fucked up in my head from what happened in October. You know, from the 20th to the 21st. <clears throat> and I really, you know, came down here on some, I'm single and we wasn't messing with each other like that. Just because, you know, I get, I get it that we made up and I don't want to lose our friendship our foundation of our friendship or the foundation of our friendship i don't want to lose that so i'm really you know out here on some free will shit i just want to do what i want to do i don't know what's going to happen right now he is with his friends and i ain't with mine but i don't want you to feel some type of way about whatever is posted on social media because you know me i would have just said that and that would spoke for itself because ray obviously knew who she was fucking with shit Ex is no explanation behind this. So Kiana ended up texting me. Y'all know Kiana got two phones. She ended up texting me off another phone. And I will insert that screenshot. And all I did, y'all, was I sent her the screenshot of her in the bed with her ex. And I told her, like, look, bro, you don't have shit to say to me. You're in the bed with your ex. Like, this. You ain't gonna read it, I'll read it. Bro, you're so childish, always blocking me every two seconds and can never communicate shit or give reason to why you do what the fuck you do. Don't wake up and send me some long ass message if you just gonna turn around and block me on everything for no reason. For no reason, baby girl. I lost my place. Uh, you not slowly falling in love with shit. All that shit just be a lie, huh? You don't mean you don't mean any of it. You enjoy playing with my head and my heart like you get a kick out of that shit or something. I'm confused. It's all good though. You just make me realize certain shit more and more. It's all love though. More and more you make me realize why I be scared of certain shit. Oh, this fucking scared shit. Bitch, you can't be that damn scared. You can't be that damn scared because you in the bed with your ex. Your ex. Right now even your ex. So how you scared but you in the bed with your ex, someone who's who's your ex? 
make make it make sense. Oh, <laughs> have a blessed day. Shit was shit was always genuine as fuck on this side. Real love. I just wish yours was the same, girl. This is full as fuck. So Cap. in the midst of all of that, y'all, Kiana made a tweet that morning saying that she didn't stop feeling until 7 a.m. Need I remind y'all? What did I? What did Kiana say? She wasn't even doing nothing that night. And if she was filming, honestly, why didn't she tell me that she was filming? You get what I'm saying? Like, it's nothing to say, hey, communication. Ray, you know, I'm with, you know my honesty. whatever art. Hey, Ray, you know I'm filming, whatever. I'll talk to you, whatever, whatever. She never even told me that she was filming. Now, I didn't even know that that's when they was doing videos because she told me she was just chilling, chilling that night. So as I can see in this screenshot of her laying in the bed with her ex, he made a post about me. He said, motherfuckers say anything to get a girl. They like pound desperate. Glad I don't got to do none of that. I'm not one of them. That means she's pillow talking to him. Probably showing the text message. Like, look what Ray just sent me. That shit is so messy. <laughs> As y'all can see, Kiana is in the bed with Prime. You can see her legs and you can see her purse in the background. When Prime made this, I didn't say anything. The only reason Prime made this post is because the video clip I showed y'all of me venting on the end of that video, which I didn't even know Kiana was gonna put that shit in her video. I was just on some drunk shit and y'all heard that. She was playing that in front of Prime and that's what caused him to post this the morning of. So even after all of this shit happened, once again, we hashed the shit out. We and you be wondering why people be beefing with each other when they don't even know each other. When they don't even give two shits about each other. This is why people be beefing because you got that middle person that's, oh look, look what Ray had to say. Like, that shit is messy. <laughs> that's cool. So after all of this happened, y'all, when I seen all of that shit, you feel me? Me and Kiana still end up making up because she told me that it wasn't what it looked like and that she wanted to tell me the truth about how everything played out. But till this day, I don't know if this is what really happened or not. Kiana stated and said, I wasn't on no type of time, right? I swear. Long story short, we were supposed to do videos in Miami together, strictly business. We was in the room together when I was editing a video me and you did together. She said he overheard what you were saying in the bathroom and felt like you was trying him. And he started saying she lame as fuck over there sipping. I said, excuse me. He was like, nigga, you heard me. She like, I'm expressing. She said, I'm like, you're so negative. She's just expressing how she feels about me. And he was like, nah, she's but you in the bed. And I told him, trust and believe, Ray not even worried about you. Why are you tripping off a whole ass female? She said, he was like, nah, I got some for her ass. So fast forward, Miami the Kid and all his friends came over and we were shooting videos till 6 a.m. And I got tired and fell asleep. And while I was asleep, prom bitch ass took the boomerang like a lame, trying to make it seem like it was something it was not. She said, the next morning I seen it, I'm like, what the fuck, this nigga so lame. When I tell you I was so hurt, like, why are you trying to ruin my happiness? This was someone else just because you're insecure and feel tried. You like a fucking fan who juiced as fuck to be in a room with Kiana J. So you purposely put my purse in your boomerang and I told him that. She said, so that whole day I was acting hella weird with him. I didn't do no videos with him at all during the whole trip. Then something happened at the dinner table and that's when things went left. I cried and I cried and we got into it so bad this nigga tried to push up on me like he was finna hit me and hella shit. She said so much happened, but that's what happened with this situation. So y'all, I end up believing Kiana, you feel me? I'm like, she got a whole story behind this. I end up believing her and I dated the situation. So now we get into November. This is how much I was against me and Kiana running to social media, you feel me? Trying to bash each other or you feel me? How people in our business because I see how much our supporters was invested into our relationship. I didn't, I ne from the beginning, y'all, I never wanted people in our relationship and Kiana know that. So basically, y'all, I told Kiana I wanted to talk to her about something that was on my mind. And she was like, what's up? Talk to me. I said, yeah. I said, Okay, there's no question about it that I fuck with you and that I really like you and want to fuck with you the long way. So in my prior situations, I feel like the biggest problem I always had was moving too fast. I do not want to be like that with you. I said, Kiana, I want to get to know you beyond this media shit. I actually want to spend time with you and create a bond that nobody could break. I feel like the more we put out, the easier people feel like they can know us or can be in our relationship, whether we joking or not. I said, I feel like we should be more cautious of showing people how we fuck with each other so if somebody do fail... They don't feel the need to give their opinions. I want to be solid with you, and I hope you're not taking this the wrong way, but on God, I want to build with you. I said, I want to take you on dates, travel with you, really have a vibe me and you never had. I 
think we should take a step back once again. I said, especially from media, not YouTube, Twitter for show, and focus on learning each other and loving each other in private. I said, people can know us, but know nothing of us. Okay. But people gonna know you minds, and I'm yours for show. I still want to be goofy with you, playful, fun, all that. But the more we put, the more opinions people feel they can have. Real shit. I said, I don't know if you like taking this personal, but I dead ass want this to work. I never really got a chance to love a motherfucker without media involved. I want to do that with you. And when we do pop out, I want a picture, of course, that just look dead ass genuine on some raw love shit. I said, if you give me that, I'll love you ten times more. Real shit. So Kiana responded and said, I don't know how to take that. So let me just read it again and process it and see how I feel and I'll respond. She said, in the meantime, I will delete my tweets. I said, don't think too hard and don't try to read between the lines. If anything, look at the bigger picture for real and okay. She put the hundred sign. She said, I don't know what else to say. And I'm not sure if you noticed, but it's hard for me to really express the way I feel. But I tried. Then she said, um, I have bad trust issues. So, of course, my mind is going to think something different. But I'm trying not to do that. So, it's hard. And I don't know how to put out what I want. She said, but all I'm going to say is, if that's what you feel is best, and if that's what you want to do, take a step back then, for sure, whatever you feel is best. So, as y'all can see... How Kiana try to make it seem like I was just so for socials and so running the social media. First argument we ever had, you ran the social media. I even came to you after all of that shit and told you I didn't even want our shit hitting social media no fucking more, my nigga. I really don't do this social media shit, y'all, unless I'm really fucking bothered by something. Like, you have to really get me out of character for me to run the socials or really make me feel a way for me to run to social media, bro. I really don't do this shit. But one thing I feel like what we miscommunicated in this situation, y'all, I think the reason why Kiana liked to be so out loud in the beginning when we first started fucking around is because that kind of gave her some type of validation. Like, you know, like, that's like, not even on no deep shit. Social media really got our heads fucked up because sometimes people do get validation out of being posted. It's like, oh, you really fucking with me. I mean, yeah, some people look at it as like appreciation, but the, the way our generation is set up now, people get validation out that shit. And I know Kiana was getting validation because of how she said she had trust issues. So my, in my head, I'm like, okay, so this must make her feel like, oh, like, Ray really fucking with me. Like, we being out loud, loving each other. You get what I'm saying? So I perfectly understand that. But from a standpoint I was coming from, I saw how much our supporters were engaged in our situation, so I didn't want that with her. So y'all, yeah, before our next big argument hit social media, this Smash or Pass video get dropped. That was also sent to me of, I guess, like her ex basically stating like they still be having sex or whatever the case may be. And y'all, yeah, this is the only issue I had with this. I understand at the end of the day, a nigga gonna be a nigga. So her ex gonna be on any typical shit a nigga gonna be on. When I seen this, y'all, I wasn't necessarily mad. I I just feel like as for Kiana though, I'd rather she had spoke to him about shit that he was saying because at the end of the day, we did have our situation going on and that's your ex. At the time I feel like when you are doing videos with ex, you should like have a conversation before that video drop. Like, look, we ain't talking about this, we ain't doing that. And not only that, you know what I'm saying? It's called edit. Edit some shit out. Everything don't have to go into a video. Everything don't need to go into a video, especially if you feel like it's misleading unless you are trying to do that. Unless you're like, oh, this is very misleading and that's the plan. That'd be the plot. But you know, baby girl has a scammer and a plot and just... <sighs> Shit I already knew. Time, I didn't think that her and her ex were beefing or anything. So in my head, I'm like, maybe she could just speak to him and just say like, hey, bro, don't like... Don't be making it seem like we still doing shit, you know, like, you know, I got my little situation going on. To me, respect. I just see that as a respect thing. Like, don't be letting him sit here and make it seem like he's still fucking on you or he's still doing stuff with you because that's going to have people looking at our situation goofy, y'all. And I feel like that's very understandable. And another thing is, I know how fans be and supporters be. They see that video and the next minute they, oh, Kiana still messing with her ex or you feel me? So I'm trying to protect what we have going on. And Anybody that I'm with, I'm going to try to protect what we have. It, it doesn't matter who I'm with. That's just naturally how I am. I don't want nobody attacking anything that I got on because your ex want to get on here and say little weird shit to make it seem like y'all still having whatever with each other. So, I'm going to insert the video clip of what her ex said. I don't want to call it. She, she on a little date right now. That's her ex.
these niggas but I ain't about to not I forgot his name in the back he cool but these other weirdos who are they nah I ain't conceited I'm a different breed it catch you slipping best belief I don't need no reason I'ma cut the ties ho turn your wife to my ho just focus on you baby girl <laughs> J vibes you know the vibes you know the fuck going on and I'm at this bitch.